What's up guys? I'm Jay. Welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. Today I've got a fat dispensary haul for y'all and I'm so excited. Kyle went to the dispensary um, like a month ago, almost now, while I was sick. River just yawned. She's pissed that she is in her crate right now. But today I've got a dispo haul. Last month Kyle went to the dispensary, bought a bunch of stuff, but I didn't get around to filming because I got sick that is the last time i'm talking about that stupid sickness on this channel but the holidays were so rough this year never ever ever again today is the last day of the five days of giveaway series that i was supposed to be doing back in december last but definitely not least i am teaming up with mj arsenal to give you guys an infinity rig i'm absolutely obsessed with them their function and the terps the flavor just all of it for the price I don't know it's great the infinity looks to be updated like I have this rig but it's old and this looks to be similar but very different at the same time here's what it looks like the kit includes the standard banger and then their little rig it's also got the wider base which I used to always bitch because my g-pin would like topple these over the wide base was a move. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and fill it up with some water so I have a little rig to hit when I get to the concentrates here in a second. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and start with edibles because I actually got a new type of edible that I've never tried before. And I got a bunch of them just going out on a whim because they were buy one get one free so i was like fuck it so i bought 600 milligrams like six packs which i mean it's not a lot but it's a lot to not know if you like them i feel like and they're amazing and i ate like four of them because like i couldn't resist actually i ate two and kyle ate two but i'm so excited to dig into those again tonight so i i'm about to break open that pack and i'm sure a lot of you guys have tried them maybe not but if you live in michigan or around michigan you probably have because I feel like most dispensaries carry local products, so they're probably local. I'll have to look. I don't actually know that to be true. The newly beloved edibles I'm talking about are these Nuggies. These are the toasted marshmallow and chocolate pretzel bite ones. And they're pretty fucking good. Like for chocolate, there's no cannabis taste in them at all. I mean, I didn't eat enough to like feel any effect from them, so I don't really know how strong they are in that sense but i'm so excited to like figure out but yeah we got six packs in total super super lit i'm gonna at least polish off the pack we got last night i didn't even show you they're these little chocolate balls and you can taste like the pretzel initially like there's some salt in there which i love but they're good it comes with 10 of these so each one's 10 milligrams mmm the other edibles we ended up getting again are these strawberry fields from the true north confections these are only two pieces which is one of the reasons i love them so much because each piece is 50 milligrams so it's super fucking easy to just eat all your edibles real quick unbeatable i bought six of these as well and these are 100 milligrams too so 1200 milligrams in edibles total and i'm pretty sure i actually have no idea how much i paid for these the giveaway photos on my phone are mad aesthetic i'm thinking about redoing not this room but like the corner that i always film in so that we could have like a little plant vibe like a very fresh open i don't know we'll see but i am itching for something new even though i'm really wanting to move soon i still want to like do a little bit of a redo i feel like or like you know a little makeover I know that these gummies were definitely on some sort of sale, like maybe two for, I don't know, something cheaper than normal. And then I got one, two, three, four, six of these Platinum Vape dab carts, which these are nothing like too, too special, but it was six for a hundred. I actually ended up giving my mom one and then I have been smoking on this one and she is almost gone like we're almost down to the metal there i know the one i'm smoking on is tahoe g this one is triangle kush which i like anything that like triangle kush triangle mints that's a good strain tahoe g honestly tastes really good too i'm gonna take a rip of this For distillate carts, I really gravitate towards the Platinum Vape cartridges. They seem to hit a little bit harder than some other ones I've tried. I also got two of these Girl Scout cookie carts, and these are both hybrids. I don't know if I said this, but the blue's an indica, and then these are hybrids. The pink, I guess. The last one is Afghan Perp. I've got 
two indicas and two hybrids. So actually I got three indicas and three hybrids, I believe. Honestly, I've never really dabbled with too many infused chocolates whatsoever and it might be the move. I think maybe for Valentine's Day, we'll do some infused chocolate strawberries. Chocolate strawberries are so fucking good. If I can make them taste like this where the weed doesn't exist. Anyways, I'm gonna eat all of these. What should we do next, bud or dabs? What do we think? Kind of wanna go on a concentrate just because I have got this sick ass rig to hit. Look at this. I've got my little dab right on hand because this shit is a must when you're taking dabs. I guess I've decided we're going on to the concentrate. The more expensive ones, I'm trying to see if the brand is on here. It's called like Light Sky Farms or Live Sky Farms, something like that. LSF is what is on the cap, but I literally cannot tilt these. These are live resin and this one is mad sticky because when I fucking got it from the dispo, it was all spilled. Like the little seal in there was mad fucked up, but I was already gone. So here I am with like maybe half a gram of what was originally in there in there but this strain is lilac diesel and it smells amazing i ordered two of these but i did pay for this one i didn't like get this as a replacement for this one this one just happened to be fucked up thankfully this one's not fucked up and was in good condition i feel like in this industry they change their packaging like every single week but isn't this fucking gorgeous? And then this other one, which I think is this one, is Gorilla Glue number four. I don't even remember when this what this one smells like. I've really only dabbed out of that lilac diesel one, I think. The Gorilla Glue number four doesn't smell nearly as crazy as the lilac diesel in my opinion, but it still smells really good. So I think I'm gonna take a dab of the lilac diesel, but I know it's going to like choke me up. The flavor's already so insane. Plus this rig, makes the flavor 25 times more insane. We got these cute little new turp pearls and they're like a neon green, kind of match my nails. Oh. Okay, here we go. Cheers. When I tell you that live resin smokes the fuck up. I think the last thing I talked about was the Gorilla Glue number four. Oh, it's so sticky. This one I think got packaged fucked up as well. Yeah, it did. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a video of this. I wasn't too happy because these were three for 120, so they were a little bit more. Is this my water? Yeah, sorry. All right, next for concentrates, this is one I've had since my last dispo run. It's like gone, but I guess there's like a dab left because it was sitting in our concentrate pile. Yeah, there's like nothing really left in there. This is, I don't think the strain is on here. It was like lemon haze. I was going to say it was lemon something like lemon osium or lemon haze. Yeah, something along those lines. This was called like a baller bucket. Like this was an eighth of live resin. It was great while it lasted for sure. <coughs> I don't think they had it this week. I also picked up another white 99 terp sugar from cloud cover. I really like this strain. I don't remember what this is. Oh, this is another lemon one, I think. We've had this for like a week now. These concentrates, I believe I got six of these. I've never tried this brand. It's called Petro. All of these are a gram. First strain is platinum cookies. I think I struggle to open almost every container we got. These aren't like anything crazy like the live resin, but I think they're still going to be really good. I haven't tried any of them yet. The next one I got is in the strain Peach Cobbler, which that one sounded so intriguing to me. Definitely a different texture. Doesn't smell anything crazy either, but it still smells good if you know what I mean. This next strain is called Cake Bake and it's a batter. I guess I didn't even tell you guys. The Peach Cobbler is a crumble and this one, the Platinum Cookies, is a batter. This one's a little bit darker. 
It smells really a little bit more intense though. I like the smell of this one. This next one is Alien Cream Cookies and this one's a Terp Sugar. A Terp Sugar. This is more like not a Terp Sugar at all. It smells amazing though, so. And the last Petra one I got, I think this one smells crazy when I first got it. I had to open it up and smell it. This is the Strawberry Guava. That strain just sounded crazy. I was like, I'm getting that one. I ordered this. The chick at the dispo got me and she was like, we're out of this and this. And this, and, this, and that. I told her to just switch it out with whatever she recommended, some good shit. So I didn't really know exactly what I was getting. Like I knew what I ordered, but I didn't know which things would exactly get changed until I showed up. And I was so excited that they had this because I really wanted to try this strain. It almost smells like Theo, but guava very strong at the same time. I don't know how to explain it. We might have to take it out of this. way fruitier than you'd expect. <coughs> the function of the new or the upgraded MJ Arsenal Infinity Ray, so, so nice. But last but not least, <coughs> this is a half ounce, I believe. It's a half ounce. The strain is strawberry milk and it was tested at 25.27% THC. Look how cute. These are like little smalls, if you will. I don't even know if they're considered smalls. I don't think they are. The next shit I have, I don't even know if it's like technically released. The strain is Garlic Breath 2.0. So yeah, it says sneak peek even on the back. I don't know. This next bud, the strain is Apple Mac and this is an ounce. Let me show y'all a close up of this bud really quick. And you guys tell me in the comments how much you would pay for an ounce of this. I just want to see a little social experiment, if you will. This next one is called Wedding Crashers, which actually kind of funny. The other strain I wanted that they were out of was called Divorce Cake. So I got Wedding Crashers. There's not much left of this one. I got 14 grams. The next one I've got, this one is called Motor Breath. This is another half and the THC in this is 29.5%. It's pretty pretty insane i really like this stuff too i think i said this in one of my other videos but a strain i've been loving recently is gelato mints this is one of my favorite strains right now i got an ounce of this it looks like we've used a little bit of it i'm a very big fan i will be getting this strain again and again and again and again and again i think that's all i got i kind of want to eat more edibles but i'm also like hungry and i feel like i can't eat more edibles until I get some food, so I think we're gonna take a bong rip because that's not as intense as edibles, I feel. But at the same time, edibles don't hit for a while, and it's kind of food in the meantime. That's a high ass thought, but that's the truth. Like, if I eat the edibles, I'm eating, like, you know, a little bit of pretzel and chocolate, and then later it'll make me hungry. I just grabbed this math piece that I need to clean. We just, I mean, I clean my pieces every day. I act like my shit is fucking gross. I've currently got some of the strained motor breath ground up from my Daily High Club video I filmed earlier. I normally don't ever film two videos in the same day, but I was super excited to film this dispo haul and I wanted to get the Daily High Club video out before January was freaking over. Let me know what you're smoking on if you're smoking with me in the comments down below. I'm honestly super impressed for all those products. I think I paid 900 and something dollars. So a fucking deal if you ask me. I got one, two, three, 10 grams of wax. Four cards, I think it was six originally. Like I said, my mom got one. I got another one that's already slurped the freaking down. I got a bunch of <coughs> edibles also on like a little sale and some bud. It was a good little haul. So. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching till the end of today's video. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like. Also, make sure to check out my Instagram. Don't miss out on all the giveaways going on right now. This one, and I think like two or three other if you like run right now. I hope to see you all in my next one. If you are new here and you haven't subscribed, what are you doing? I hate that analytic that literally every fucking YouTuber has. The amount of people that watch you that aren't subscribed, 
YouTube tries to irk you with that shit. But I hope to see you guys on my next one. And until then, peace. I love you. Stay safe. Oh.